Hey, what's up YouTube? Houston here. For those of you just finding my YouTube channel, welcome. Please remember to hit that subscribe button and that bell. And if you like the conversation, give me a thumbs up. Now, today we're talking about how to get two trade lines out of a Discover card. That's right, two trade lines out of Discover card. Now this video, we're gonna be talking about one, how to get the Discover card for first off, then how to get a credit line increase from Discover, as well as how do you get two trade lines, okay? Now here's the thing about it. We know that Discover has multiple cards. So Discover has the Discover secured card with no credit score, no hard pull on the credit. Then you have the Discover It student Student card, you need at least a 630 credit score for that. Then you have the Discover It cashback card, you need at least a 670 credit score for that one. Then you have the Discover It miles card, it need a six, at least a 670 for that. Now the thing about it, people like that card because they may travel a lot. So you, if you're a traveler or whatever, the Discover It Miles card may be your best card. Now, they have the Discover It Chrome card. Now with the Discover It Chrome card, you need at least a 640 credit score, okay? And then the last card you have is the Discover It uh, Balance Transfer card. Um, Balance transfer is up to 18 months, no interest, uh, purchases up to six months, okay? Now, those are the credit cards. The ones that I would probably go for if I got shaky credit, uh, I would probably look at the Discover It Chrome card, okay? That would probably be the low, the, because that's low hanging fruit, basically. It's above the secured card and the uh, student card, but it's the next one, so the Discover It, Discover Chrome card is probably a card you want to get. Now, here's the thing about it you need to understand on what to put on the application. First of all, Discover, they usually look at credit files and if you have a thin credit file, say that you only have uh, two trade lines on it or whatever, they may uh, uh, give you offer you the secured card instead of the chrome card okay so i would encourage you to at least have three trade lines to go after the discover chrome card that i stated because all you need is a 640 which isn't hard okay now another thing that you need to understand about the application is the income now i made a video i was telling you about the how much income you should put on an application average or not how much you should put on application application but what credit card lenders look at so an uh, individual uh, credit card application trying to get us discover say you're trying to get the discover Chrome card then you're probably their uh, income you're probably looking at anywhere from 29,000 and above as an individual now as a couple uh, say that it's you as well as uh, your spouse or something like that then with both of your household income, household income, uh, to get a larger line of credit, I should say, then you're probably looking at maybe about uh, anywhere from 47,000 and above, okay? Now here's something that I wanna share with you that most people may not mention, and I did mention in another video. Um, if you, as an individual, get approved for a Discover, um, a Discover card, okay? If you get approved for a Discover card, adding somebody on that card right away is not gonna help their credit. It's not gonna help their credit, okay? So it, it would be better if they actually had their own credit card, okay? Unless it's a high limit credit card, and that, that still won't hurt, help the credit right away, they'll just have a high limit credit card on there, all right? Um, and also, if somebody adds you on, at, on their Discover card as an authorized user, and it's over 30%, then that's gonna hurt your credit score as well. So just so that you keep that in mind, mind that being said we talked about the income now also a bigger factor is discover because they're a major bank guess what their DTI is lower as well so some people you may have like a 
720, 750 credit score and Discover denies you. Uh, also, they're inquiry uh, sensitive as well. Now, Discover, they pull your Equifax most of the time, but sometimes they may pull your Experian, all right? But here's the thing about it that you have to understand about debt to income ratio. With Discover, their debt to income ratio is between 50, 55%. If you go over that threshold, you have a higher chance of being denied, okay? Okay, so just keep that in mind. Now, that being said, let's talk about liquidating. Say that you get the Discover Chrome card and you're trying to get a higher limit. You're liquidating so that you can max out the cards because you're trying to get a higher limit. Then there's this thing called manufacturer spend, right? So what that is is basically you would take the Discover card and you would buy a bunch of gift cards. Uh, Visa uh, vanilla gift cards and then you would uh, buy those cards and then you would uh, swipe them back and pay the discover card off of course there's going to be some fees and things in that uh, but here's one other way for you to actually max out the card get two trade lines as well as benefit to help you get a credit line increase. Now, in reference to a credit line increase, this is also you have to understand that with Discover, you can apply for a credit line increase every 30 days, all right? So that's the thing about it, and we're gonna talk about that more, but I wanted to show, explain to you how to possibly get two trade lines. Now, if you're an individual that's paying like rent through a money order or you're paying rent with cash or whatever, what I would tell you or your utility bills, however you pay your utility bills, if you get the Discover card, say that you get the Discover Chrome card, the low hanging fruit one, okay, what you would want to do is sign up with a company like Plastic, P-L-A-S-T-I-Q.com, attach the card to that and then pay your uh, like rent through that and then sign up with a rent reporting company and have them to report that on your credit file. So that way you're getting the Discover card transaction plus you're getting your rent reported as well. And also you can uh, say sign up with uh, Discover or use the Discover card and sign up with like Grow Credit or Alt Ultra and have them report your utilities and stuff like that. That way you get multiple trade lines out of the card like that as well. Now, in terms of maxing the card out, making sure you pay it back every month, and that way they see that you actually utilize the card. Most people, if they get a low limit credit card, if they get a credit card like 500, they'll just throw it in the drawer. I would encourage you, do not do that. If you wanna get a higher limit credit card with um, with a Discover card, then you must utilize the card, buying gas, groceries, whatever, and then using that card to pay, do all your transactions, then paying it off with your money from your paycheck or something like that. So they actually can see that you're utilizing the card. Now, another thing that I would tell you to do is also, when you use the card and say that you max it out, make sure you're making payments on it every week to pay it up, make payments on it every week. So again, that shows that you know how to manage the card. You have the available funds to actually pay the card off. So this also influences them to actually give you a higher limit. Now, the third way for you to get a higher limit, once you've been using the card, paying it off and stuff like that, and you have a good payment history, like I said, you can, uh, request a credit line increase every 30 days as a soft pull and you can do it through the app. All right, but here's the thing about it. If they uh, get, say that you have a 500, right? And they, uh, you do it through the app and they increase it to maybe a thousand, right? And that's not enough. What you wanna do, you definitely wanna get on the phone with them. And if you know that you had an increase in income, say that you're working a job and then you start working a side job as well, let them know that you had an increase in income. Uh, I would also tell you to influence their decision 
if I have any open revolving accounts, I would try to pay those accounts down to either 10% or zero. All right, this is going to help you as well. So that way they feel comfortable enough to give you a large amount to work with. All right, now because Discover is very conservative in terms of how you do things. Going back to the telephone conversation, when, if you get, like I said, if the app gives you a, a doubles your uh, limit, all right, most of the time, the rule of thumb is three times what your current limit is, okay? That's what it is, three times what you, so you get 500, you want them to multiply that times 300, which is about 1,500, right? But what if you want to make it 3,000 or 5,000? Then that's when you pick up the phone, you uh, call and ask them, can they increase it? For those, of the, uh, those that probably answer in the phone, they may not have the um, flexibility to increase your credit limit, right? But then you get on the phone with a manager and you explain to them, hey, I'm really gonna be utilizing the card a lot. As you can see, my history, you know, I've been utilizing it, paying about, I have the capability, I have extra income, my uh, other credit card have low balances on them. I really like using the card. So what can you do for me? What's the maximum amount you will be able to do for me. You never want to give them a number. You always want to say, what's the maximum amount you can uh, do for me, okay? Then let the manager review your file and stuff like that, doing a softball, and they will come back with possibly a higher number, all right? And so now you know exactly how Discover works, what are the benefits of it, how you can leverage it, and to get a larger line of credit, all right? So this is Houston. If you have any question about a business credit funding, personal credit funding, click the link and schedule a one-on-one -on -one, uh, consultation. Thank you.